Hello, this is Dr. Triple Seven, and in today's video, I'm doing a video on CCleaner version 4.0. Now, if you never heard of CCleaner before, it's an awesome program that I think almost everybody that uses a computer should have. If you heard of CCleaner before and you use it, in this video, I'll be showing you guys the new update and what kind of small stuff that you get with the new version, which is 4.0. So, um, to download this free program, you can go to the download link below and it will bring you right here and all you have to do is click the prioform.com right here and it will automatically start to download um, I'll cancel mine obviously and once you download it you can go ahead and run the installer now I suggest exiting of any applications besides the setup file that way when you actually do the scan afterwards it will um, automatically because it's going to ask you to close your programs anyway so you can close them now so then go through the installation. It's a pretty standard installation. Does not ask, does not install any advertisements or anything like that. So once you finish the installation, or the first time you run CCleaner, it's going to ask you if you want to intelligently scan um, the cookies to keep. So a cookie, for those of you who do not know, is a file that your browser uses, so such as Google Chrome or Internet Explorer, or Mozilla Firefox, whatever browser you use, they use cookies to keep like your login information um, faster. So for example, when you type in on Hotmail, you have the first letter of your email address, the whole email address comes up and you can click enter and it types in the rest for you. That's a cookie. A cookie keeps that information. So by clicking yes to this, what it will do is scan the ones that you're going to use a lot and it actually will not clear them. So I would highly suggest doing this method. So click yes. Once it's done, you can it opens up and we can go ahead and use it. So for those of you who, who have used the program before, one thing you will notice is the new graphics. So we have new icons basically everywhere, especially along the side, and the actual logo of the program has been changed to a cleaner, more brighter um, C with a brush. So for those of you who never used the program before, I'll give you a little um, tutorial on using it now. So at the top here we have your Windows version that you're running and then your a um, couple of your specs. So you have your CPU, your RAM, and then your graphics card. So it just shows you a couple basic information. Over here we have our cleaner which is basically the most uh, used application in this program which is the cleaning application which goes through and cleans your files. So I planned on doing this video a long time ago, so what I did was I didn't actually clean my computer for a couple months. So you guys are going to see what me not using the or not cleaning for a couple months, um, how much memory I can clear. And for people who have never done it before in their whole life, you probably can clear much more. If you click the registry tab, this is your registry cleaner. So this is basically uh, when a program was installed or run or anything like that, it creates a registry. So this program is going to allow you to clear any ones that are basically not being used anymore. And by clearing them, it keeps your registry um, faster and can actually improve your computer's performance. In the tools, we have some awesome tools that are actually very useful. We have the ability to uninstall programs straight from here. So it tells you when you install them, uh, the size and the version. We have the startup tab, which kind of shows you um, what starts up when your computer starts up so you can go through and if your computer's boot is kind of slow you can go through here see what you don't use and click the disable button over here or you can completely delete it. The file finder is a new feature in the new version 4.0 um, what it basically does is it finds duplicate files so if you by accident pasted the same picture in a different folder and you didn't delete the original one, it's going to prompt you and show you where it is so you can go ahead and delete it. System Restore is a pretty cool uh, feature as well. You have some restore points and what you can do is you can actually delete them which will um, save you some memory. Now by default it's going to block you from installing the latest one so that way um, it's for system safety. That way if you actually have to do go back in time you still have at least one. Drive wiper is pretty um, standard as you can tell it wipes drives so you can select a hard drive or a flash drive anything like that. You can choose the 
wipe free space only or the entire drive and then you can choose the security so you can go everything from one pass to three to seven to thirty five what that basically means is how many times it kind of like erases so one pass it kind of goes through is the standard delete um, and the very complex one which is 35 um, wipes much more secure and it's better basically better chance of it being deleted um, it will be deleted if you do the one time but um, the 35 one is kind of that way nobody can go back on the hard drive and restore the data also the, lo the more passes you do the longer it will take so it's like 30 35 times longer than the one pass in the options we have a couple different simple options so we have the ability to upgrade to the pro we have settings so we have some simple stuff here we have our cookies include exclude and advanced so now I'll go through and show you guys the cleaner feature so the cleaner feature by default so I have everything clicked if you know what you're doing you can go ahead and unclick certain ones if you go to the applications it shows you your applications and the ones that it can analyze I guess you could say so you have two different options you can click analyze or run cleaner if you click analyze it will scan and give you results if you click cleaner it will just actually go ahead and clean the files that you see right here so analyze it will show you in cleaner it just does it automatically so it doesn't take long to analyze for me I can do just under 13,000 megabytes so that's pretty good um, that's how much I can basically remove it's the approximate size again and it shows you exactly what it is so as you guys can tell a lot of um, Google Chrome stuff the flash player um, Windows Defender Recycle bin, so it's you know standard stuff. So if you want to go ahead and free up some memory, which you can do, is click Run Cleaner. It double checks that you want to permanently delete these files from your system. Click OK. It goes through and it will do its thing. Now you will notice that running the cleaner takes a bit longer than the analyze part because now it actually has to go through and delete these files features that are new in the program and here we go once it's finished it gives you the exact amount so it was a bit higher than the analyzed part there but you guys it was pretty close so it only took my computer about 21 seconds to clean and that is with recording the registry tab um, same thing you can go like this and click scan for issues it goes through and gives you missing shared DLL now this is gonna happen when a program updates or if you uninstall a program it's still left over so it's not a big deal that's like, like this all you gotta do is, as you can tell most of mine are missing are invalid or whatever what you can do is go to fix selected issues and ask you do you want to back it up it's a good idea to back it up so click yes it gives it a certain name and suggests the documents so you click yes and then it goes do you like to do this and then click fix all selected issues boom it fixes them there you go and that is about it guys for this video so I hope you guys did enjoy I hope you guys did learn something if you didn't know what this program was and if you already knew I hope you guys saw the new features again I will have a full list of them below just in case I forgot to uh, mention any anyways guys that's about it for this video hope you guys did enjoy if you did leave a like if any questions comments or concerns you can leave them below now try to do my best to respond to them and answer them. Besides that, guys, have a great day. This is the Hacker 0007, and I'm signing off.